It's Colossians chapter 2 verse 2 that their hearts might be comforted being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of Yahweh and of the Father and of Yahweh Shai. Right. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect brethren. And uh just wanted to go into this scripture right here at Colossians 2 and 2, man. And it's, it's showing that the Most High had the perfect equation with the elect, man. He created us for each other, and that's in the same mind, the same spirit, man. And in these times we in now, the high time of prophecy is crucial that our, uh, we 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 recognize that and put our time into the ones that's uh, of that same spirit, man. That you are in, as far as wanting to get out of this place, man, because Satan is operating at a high rate. And, and try to incorporate all types of uh, interferences whether it may be uh, the woman that might seem like she good and it's okay to deal with her she, she get along with you she don't give you no problems your job might be having all type of voluntary uh, overtime that's giving you money uh, giving you some extra money in your pocket man that you might want but it's not what you need right now what we need right here like the scripture said is um, it said unto all riches and full assurance of the understanding. This knowledge, truth, and understanding is all the uh, the riches that we need right now, man. On the spiritual sense, man. And uh, I'm going to read the scripture one more time. And it was a key word that I want to look up in the blue letter. Uh, this is Colossians 2 and 2. That their hearts might be comforted. And that's the whole thing. We already know hearts is going back to your mind, man. And one of the, the most time you're going to find, the only time you find comfort is through this word. But reading on, it says, being knitted together in love. And uh, real quick, I'm going to get this word knit in the uh, Blue Letter Bible. And just off of common knowledge so to speak man you know you hear knit you think of like sewing or whatever you knit you want something so uh sewn tight together man to bring it together to have a strong bond bonding two separate pieces or multiple pieces together and uh real quick for um, Yeah, this is Strong's 4822 uh, for the word knit. It's uh, Bazo. And it says to cause, to co uh, co co coalesce, to join together, to put together, to unite, to knit together in affection, to put together one's mind, to compare, to gather, conclude, consider. And this is what the Most High done, done, man, with the, uh, the true men of the Lord, man. He knitted us together in, in, in this truth, man. Separating us from the world. So in these times, man, it, it, it's time to be involve yourself more with your brethren, man. More so than what you have done in the past, man. Because it's all type of demons that's going to be trying to pull you away from the truth, man. And, your, and, and the focus was just staying in this word and staying occupied in prophecy, man. And the more you deal with your brothers, the more you're going to remain in a proper spirit, man. But... You got Jacob get caught up in his family life, get caught up in work, get caught in all different aspects of the world, and it'll be pulling them away from the uh, brotherhood, man. You see uh, uh, people from your job more than you do your, uh, your brothers, man. Just show up on Saturday and that's good enough for you, man. If you're in that mindset and you don't feel it's important to be around the brothers that the most high set up for you to be around, then, hey, that's not a good sign, man. But uh, it was a key word I want to pull up. Uh, one of the definitions that showed up in the blue letter, uh, coalesce. I had never heard this word, so I kind of went in and uh, looked it up. And uh, this is uh, straight off of Google.com. It says coalesce. It's a ver uh, it says come together or form one mass or whole. And uh, it's from the Latin co, uh, co means uh, uh, meaning together 
and Elise or Alicia um, means uh, means bring together. So it's a compound word meaning to bring together or to grow together. Alaire means nourish, and then if you go deeper into the Latin, Alessia means grow up. So we came in this thing as babes. We didn't been nourished, and we growing up together, man. And uh, another definition in um, online the uh, online etymology dictionary uh, from the Latin for coalesce. It uh, comes from the Latin word coalesce. It means unite, grow together become one in growth and that's what we're doing right now man that's what uh, since you come into this thing you become a part of the body of your how about shimmy i was shy man nobody you, uh, it's basically if you feel like you're building on your own or you got your own separate thing you're gonna be cast out and that's been manifested into the physical uh, uh over the years man so right now man the most high then and then gave us a perfect equation and the ones that's not part of that equation is going to be destroyed with the two-thirds. The elect is going to stay in the right main mind frame and knit it together, man. And the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of Yahweh, man, we have the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, man. Through all through the spirit and mercy of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man. We don't have no questions in life. What are we here for? What's destined for you? Would, uh, if we be part of the elect, we destined to see this place destroyed and be delivered out of here on those glorious chariots, man. One of the common and main things that you hear in life is people ask you, well, where do you see yourself five or ten years from here, from now? We see ourselves in the kingdom, man. And with that, man, uh, once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.